This video is meant to serve as an overview of the Equipment Lending Library program. This program is hosted by the Construction Engineering Research Laboratory and was designed to provide installation staff with energy and water auditing equipment and training. The goal of this program is to make it easier for installations to assess their existing buildings and develop projects that will help them meet their mandated energy and water reduction goals. This presentation will provide a brief summary of the equipment that is available and a short description of its usage. Our intention is to continue to develop this channel with detailed analysis examples using the equipment shown. Please check back regularly for updates or contact the program manager in the description below to request specific studies or get additional information about the Equipment Lending Library program. The equipment in this program has been roughly divided into two categories. The first, shown on the left, contains equipment that is focused on supporting ESA level building audits. This equipment has been organized into backpacks and can generally be used very quickly while doing a walkthrough audit. The second category, shown on the right, contains equipment that requires a little more time and knowledge to use, but can provide critical information for determining potential energy savings projects. The first items in the ESA audit backpacks are the data collection sheets and a notepad. The data collection sheets can serve as a guide for the information that needs to be collected during the audit and the notepad provides additional space for observations or calculations that don't fit in the standard auditing sheet. A significant amount of work has recently been completed to formalize the ESA energy audit process, and this has led to the creation of a draft guidance document and a revised data collection sheet. These documents will be released in their final form shortly and will be added at that time to the backpacks. The next item is the digital camera. While the use and purpose of the camera are straightforward, it is useful to note a few key images that can provide a lot of value for the audit. First, when auditing many buildings at the same time, it can be helpful to take a picture of the building number on the outside of the building, or even the number written down on the notepad. This marks as a starting point for the next project. Other high value images include HVAC equipment and their nameplates, lighting types and placement, high or unusual internal loads, and images of the building envelope. The tape measure may be needed to assess lighting placement, determine window areas, or help to follow HVAC components that pass through walls. The flashlight is available to help navigate and collect information in mechanical rooms that are sometimes dimly lit or without any functional lighting. The ballast checker can be used to quickly determine if a fluorescent light fixture has a magnetic or electronic ballast. Generally speaking, magnetic ballasts are an older technology and less efficient than electronic ballasts. Determining the ballast type can also help you determine if the fixtures are candidates for direct bulb replacement with plug-and-play tube LED bulbs. These bulbs can be used as a direct substitute for T8 or T12 fluorescent bulbs if paired with the appropriate ballast. The 4-foot versions of these LED bulbs can be purchased for under $10 per bulb and use about half as much electricity as T8s. This upgrade is especially noteworthy because tube fluorescent bulbs are among the most common lighting source for most of our large buildings. The environmental meter, or 4-in-1 meter as it is sometimes called, is a Swiss Army knife of energy auditing. It can be used to measure temperature, humidity, wind speed, and illuminance. While there are many uses for this tool, a few noteworthy examples include measuring the lighting levels throughout the building and comparing to ASHRAE recommendations. This may be useful to reduce lighting levels in some hallways or corridors or taking rough airspeed, temperature, and humidity measurements in an air handling system. The plug-in power meter can be used to get a quick and direct measurement for internal plug loads. The meter can provide instantaneous power usage readings or log energy usage over time. The meter can be useful to help quantify power usage from large or unusual internal loads. The clamp ammeter can also be used to determine instantaneous power. This is done by measuring the current draw from the device at a known voltage and calculating the power. The clamp must be placed around a single wire, not a two-wire pair, in order to function properly. The ammeter can be useful for measuring power consumption for large equipment or for equipment that has been hardwired in place. The infrared thermometer is used to measure surface temperature. It is particularly useful for determining hot and chilled water line temperatures where other sensors are not available. This can help you quickly understand flow in a simple or complicated water or air system. Surface temperature readings near certain lighting fixtures can also help you identify lamp type without physically removing the lamp. For example, 
Recessed can lighting with incandescent bulbs or LED bulbs can look exactly the same from 20 feet away, and they can be difficult to get to quickly. But surface temperature readings near an incandescent bulb may be 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit over the ambient temperature, whereas the surface temperature for an LED bulb is unlikely to be more than 10 degrees Fahrenheit over the ambient temperature for an open fixture. The stroboscope can be used to determine the rotational speed of a motor. From the rotational speed, you can estimate the power usage of the motor using the slip method. These marked water bags can be used to measure the flow rates for faucets and shower heads. They have instructions for use on the bags and can be used to determine the expected water and cost savings potential when switching to the current recommended standard. That is the end of the equipment contained in the ESA auditing backpacks. The additional equipment can be used for deeper study or to further explore issues that have been found during the auditing process. Data loggers can serve as the backbone for any energy auditing, commissioning, or retrocommissioning study. These loggers can be used to monitor a building over an extended period of time. Many of the loggers have digital displays that show real-time measurements, but the time series data must be handled using the free associated software. A link to this software can be found in the description below. A few of the most common studies that can be performed with these loggers include Determining the cost effectiveness of lighting controls using the occupancy and lighting loggers. Tracking carbon dioxide levels to determine if minimum outside airflow can be reduced or tied to a carbon dioxide sensor. Testing an economizer to ensure that it is functioning properly. And tracking equipment power usage. The stroboscope shown here is used in the same analysis as the backpack version, but has a couple additional features for ease of use. Its size and the additional features make it ideal for instructional use or when testing many motors or pumps over a short period of time. The combustion flue gas analyzer can be used to test the exhaust of a boiler or furnace and determine the current combustion efficiency. The hydromanometer is used to determine the pump operation efficiency and can help identify potential energy savings through adjustments to a throttling valve, the motor, pump, or controls. The infrared camera can be used to see thermal images of our buildings. These are most commonly used to identify thermal breaks in the building envelope or identify heating or cooling issues with uncomfortable zones in the building. The ultrasonic flow meter is used to non-invasively measure flow in a pipe. The flow meter can be useful when analyzing hydronic loops to ensure they are properly balanced and performing as expected. The power meter is used when highly accurate long-term power monitoring is required. This meter can be used to monitor the current and voltage for three-phase power and automatically corrects for the power factor. This concludes the equipment that is currently available through the Equipment Lending Library program. Please see the contact information in the description below if you would like to make use of the equipment or if you have any additional questions about the program.